Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Audacity tutorial. I'm Josh Meyer of joshmeyervideo.com. I'm a professional voice talent. I've done over 3,000 paid voiceovers. I got into that through writing music, and I just so happen to be an expert in Audacity. Today, it is time to put it to rest. There is a wealth of information surrounding Audacity, and I assure you, it is not all created equal. And the bad info just keeps coming. And I've had it. I've had it. It's bad info. I've got your back. Let's do this the right way. Okay. So time and time again, you know, I got curious the other day. I looked on YouTube and prove your voice quality. And I see somebody. And once again, let's do the bass boost. Let's do the treble boost. Boosting by five decibels this time. So it seems like maybe they learned a little bit from my last EQ video, okay? They're doing better, but they're not doing great. So what I have here, I have a recording, and I'm going to duplicate that. We're going to do a side-by-side, -side, and is there a perfect EQ? There is not, but I have built an EQ for you all to use based off of requests, based off of you know, what you're looking for. A lot of men are looking to add some thickness or a rich quality. And we want to do that without making it muffled. <clears throat> and we also want to do that without boosting things that are not even in the region that the human voice lies within. By boosting things that are outside of that region, such as in the, you know, like 63 hertz and below, we can boost footsteps above us if you're in an apartment low rumble of any sort i mean that lives for the bass guitar kick drum stuff like that okay and so anyway i'll go over that stuff soon okay but without further ado let me go ahead and create this duplicate track and i've got this eq for you and i will show it to you all you can copy the settings and what i wanted to do is is there a perfect eq no there's not but what I wanted to do was create an EQ based on what the majority of people are looking for that is safe to say is not going to destroy your recordings in the same manner as the bass boost and the treble boost um, and may very well make your recordings sound a little better, sound a bit better, but, you know, just depending. So. Let's go in and do this. We've got two tracks. They are the exact same track. So let's name this. This is them. Them. Great. And this is us. This is ours. Us. Okay. We know what the drill is, guys. Okay. Let's go to filter curve. Let's do the treble boost, right? And they've gotten a little better. And I also want to say, I've seen some people normalizing after every single step they take, not necessary. It's redundant. You only need to do it once. And that's at the end. The only time you would normalize prior is if you had to just boost those waves up because you needed to limit something before you carried on. Your waves were too small to measure so you had to boost them so that you could measure, so you could limit the only time. But to normalize after every single step, I mean, God, it makes me tired just watching people do that. It's nuts. Okay. And the bad information is nuts. I've had it. I've got your back. Let's put this to rest. Okay. So they got better. Used to be, let's boost it by 9 dBs and go bananas. Let's go nuts. Uh, now... I see a lot of people doing it closer to about five. Okay. So we'll do that by about five. Trouble boost five. Um, actually, let me undo that. And I will pull that back up. Filter curve. Okay. So right here, it's about five. There's nothing in the voice over here. 16K to 20K. Nothing in your voice lies there. It is cymbals, hi-hats, instruments, maybe a whistle maybe a, a high pitch hum of an appliance in your house. Who knows? A lot of stuff. That's not your voice. So why would we boost that? 5 dB boost? Crazy. Why would you do that? Too much. Too much. No audio engineer would, would really recommend doing that. 
bass boost and treble boost, and no audio engineer would recommend boosting by so much. Um, by the way, I just so happen to be an audio engineer. Okay. True. True story. All right. So let's do the treble boost. Cool. And you saw those spikes just pop right up for you. Awesome. All right. Filter curve. Here we go again. Now, I want to say, while I'm doing this, are these people bad people? Absolutely not. They're probably awesome people. You know, these other YouTubers, they're, they're, they're hustling. They're trying to do their thing. So my hat's off to you. Okay. Do your thing. But I'm, I'm going to put out information based off of technical analysis, reality, and, you know, based off of schooling and experience. Um, and my understanding of frequencies, hertz, and EQ. Um, I, I really feel that, that these steps that have been given by other YouTubers are based on information that was given to them poorly and based off of, okay, this has worked the best for me so far. So I'm just going to stick with that. So are they bad guys, bad ladies? No, no, they're probably awesome people, you know? Are they trying to hurt you? No. Um, but are they giving you bad information accidentally? Definitely. I've actually reached out to one recently and I offered to, hey, let's do a group. Let's do like a dual show so that we can debunk some of this other stuff and bring your viewers some additional um, value. Never heard back. Totally fine. Um, I'm just hoping that you all find my channel so that I can give you the good stuff. All right, let's move on. All right, 5 dB base boost. Once again, 5 dB is too much. On top of that, nothing in your voice is happening below 60 hertz. I mean, why are we boosting that? You want to boost a footstep above you or, you know, the Harley driving by? You can definitely do that and it will blow it up. I mean, it will. Okay. If you had that. So let's apply it. Great. And we're moving back into the bottom track that has not been touched. Okay. So this is the EQ, the filter curve that I've created for you gentlemen and ladies. Please, please, please. I haven't forgot about you. You're next. I've got you too. Okay. Let's go with the male EQ. Look at that huge difference in the way they look. Okay. With the bass boost, we're flying up here and we're just soaring all the way with the treble boost. We're flying up here and then soaring all the way. Look what I did here. I cut out everything that was not applicable to the voice. And if you register in 80 Hertz, like myself, you have such a, a deep, rich, booming voice. Well, I actually need to bring 80 Hertz down a little bit for me. You know what I mean? I, I like to bring 80 Hertz down because that adds to the clarity. And this is the bottom line. We are looking for clarity. So based off of requests, this is what I've built for you. Okay. I have not boosted anything more than two dBs. And what I did here is I cut a little bit out of the mid range so that we're not overloading this waveform. And I did just a slight bump here, you know, just under a dB um, in the high mids. So didn't have to boost anything crazy or anything by 5 dBs. I cut out everything that's not applicable to our voices. And what's happening over here in the 16 to 20K range? Hi-hats, cymbals, whistles, crazy high-pitched stuff that's not applicable to your voice. So we cut it out. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down so you can see that I just dropped it way out. Okay. And if you don't know, or if you didn't know, you can drag these sliders up and down. And you could also drag this slider up and down. So I am just making it this way so you can have a really close look at what I've done. And give me a pencil. Okay, I'll draw you a stick figure or write you some tight lyrics for a song or some good poetry. But put me on this filter curve and I'm freaking Pablo Picasso. No joke. 
Let's do it. Let's add it. Almost looks like a heart. It's beautiful. That's art. Let's apply that. Already you see a difference in the way it looks. Now let's just say we're going to normalize them both or something like that. Let's just normalize both of them. And then we'll go through and go through the audio processing chain. Okay. So let's normalize both of these. Normalize. Great. And let's normalize this. Great. All right. So you're already seeing a lot more congruence in my EQ. You can visually see the differences. My audio gets louder because it has the room to grow. And look at this. I'm betting you this is a sharp sibilant right here, this tall peak. And it's not even close to as loud as the beginning of whatever I said here. But we're going to listen to them. But I just want to show you visibly first, before we even listen, the differences here. Okay. So I'm betting that is a sibilant. Let's scroll in. That's got to be a sibilant. Look how dense that is. All right. There's. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Okay. A side by side. There's verse mine. Let's put this to rest. Listen. Okay. Mine. Ours. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Okay. A side by side. All right. Off the jump. Off the jump. Already night and day difference. Let's just listen to the beginning real quick. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Eureka. Voila. You're welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> And you other YouTubers, hey, mad love to you. I hope you can learn from this. Bring some value to your viewers, okay? You want to do a dual show? Hit me up. I got your back. I'll give you info. I'll give you legit info. And my people, thank you so much. I'm saying, I got your back here, okay? There's, like I said, there's a ton of info on, on Audacity. And, and a lot of it I'm, I'm laughing at. I'm like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Um, and just know that you don't have to normalize 35,000 times throughout your process. You just have to do it once, you know, one time. It's all good. It's all good. All right. There's, okay, a side-by-side. -side. Okay, a side-by-side. -side. No comparison. <laughs> There's just no comparison. Did I boost anything by 5 dBs? Absolutely not. Did I boost, you know, like... You get what I'm saying, guys. <clears throat> I wanted to put this stuff to rest. Improve your vocal quality. Improve your vocal quality. And it's, it's a lot of bad info. So I'm going to do it on how you can actually improve your vocal quality. So what I did with this EQ, and I'll pull it back up. Filter curve. Oops, got to highlight this. Yada, yada, yada. Filter curve. This is what I did. Clearly, I cut out everything that's not applicable to us over here in the high region and in the low region, okay? I slowly boosted up to, two B, up to two dBs. And then I brought it back down here at around 250, back to the level. And then I dropped 500 hertz by three dBs. Then just a nice light boost about a half dB here in the high mid. And then we just let it roll. We just let it roll, baby. Roll, baby, roll. All right? So that's what I did. You get the point. You get the point, ladies and gentlemen. There's no comparison here. Let's go. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. There's. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. Okay. Mine. Listen, we're going to do a quick test. So much better. So much better. My goodness gracious, Lord. Okay, a side by side. Okay, a side by side. Okay, a side by side. So much more clear. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, man. I love this stuff. I just love it, baby. All right. Okay, we've got this sibilant just popping. 
just popping. All right, so let's measure that. See how high that goes. Let's measure that. Right there, okay. And I will measure the bottom. Okay, so that's this sibilant right here in my EQ. It's easily a dB less. Okay, a side by side. 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 Is there a comparison? I think not. I don't think that there is. I really don't. I really don't. There. Let's put this to rest. Let's put this to rest. There's. Let's put this to rest. Mine. Let's put this to rest. You get the point, ladies and gentlemen. You get the point. You get the point. Okay, great. Now, if you're looking for a personalized EQ, that is something I can do for you. Feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can send me a recording and I will make custom EQs for you. So you could get two graphic EQs customized to your voice, microphone, and setup for $50. One based off of what you want and what you're looking for, and the second based off of what I feel would bring you the most clarity and the best sound for your voice, microphone, and setup. So that'd be two EQs, two graphic EQs for $50, and if you would like me to build those same EQs on the filter curve, that would be an additional 30. So that's a good price. If you're interested, feel free to reach out. If not, no sweat. And I hope this works for you. Like I said, you know, this is going to be a lot, a thousand percent better than the other EQs that you're seeing out there. Um, but if you want something specific for you, go ahead and reach out. My email will be in the description. I have two emails. Pick whatever you like and we can have a conversation about it. Until next time, stay safe, stay positive. I got your back.